The cost of living is on the rise. A new report shows people are spending more at grocery stores and restaurants. Here's a look at what products are getting more expensive. Filling up at the pump remains pricey, especially for drivers with long commutes. If I'm having to put, you know, $30, $40 in my tank every other day, that, that's a lot. A new government report says gas is up 41% compared to last year, fueling a rise in overall prices, including food. The cost of eating out in July saw its biggest one-month surge in 40 years, and shoppers are spending more at the grocery store. Beef and veal jumped six and a half percent in the past year. Pork products increased nearly eight percent, and whole milk rose eight percent. A lot of these prices have definitely gone up. And that has Catherine Carsimo changing her shopping habits. Maybe like a brand that you usually don't buy, or um, maybe like smaller. There is a little bit of good news, even though prices are going up, they're not rising as fast as previous months. Used car prices slowed last month after soaring for most of the year. Airline tickets declined a little from the previous month, but are still up 19% over last year. Those increases that we've seen continue to put a squeeze on the household budget. Bank rates Greg McBride says it's not clear how long the current increases will continue. We won't know until probably early part of 2022 with any clarity whether or not inflation uh, was just passing through town or whether those higher numbers are here to stay for a while. Pandemic-related supply chain issues are one factor influencing costs. Once those stabilize, economists believe prices could too. Well, now one bright spot in the report is that prices for fruits and vegetables are down slightly in the past month.